Hey Mac users, that's Jonathan. Today, I'm going to teach you how to remove Search Pulse on Mac. It's easier than it seems, especially if you have the right tools at hand. I'll start by showing you a fast, automatic way. Then we'll head over to a detailed manual removal guide. Let's go. Before we start, let's find out what Search Pulse is and how to spot it on Mac. Have you ever heard about browser hijackers? Search Pulse is one of them. Designed to generate pay-per-click revenue for its creators, this malware quickly takes control of web browsers. Trying to look legitimate, it exploits Yahoo, which is a genuine search engine with its own advertising network. Of course, it has nothing to do with the culprit. The common symptoms of Search Pulse include Home page and search engine are changed without your permission. All search queries are redirected through search.searchpulse.net or home.searchpulse.net. Suspicious adverts appear unexpectedly and you can't control them. Pop-ups, banners, in-text links, and other ads promote fake updates and shady software. All that can drive anyone crazy who has this adware type infection on their device. What's worse, Search Pulse collects personal data, including IP addresses, browsing history, and unencrypted passwords. It also acts as an unsafe backdoor into your Mac, presenting an ongoing security risk. So the best thing you can do is get rid of this browser hijacker as soon as you can. Here's how you can do that automatically. Checking your Mac for viruses with anti-malware software is the way to go. Luckily, lots of modern tools detect and destroy Search Pulse in a click. Notarized by Apple, Clean My Mac X can do the job smoothly. It deals with Mac-specific viruses, including adware, spyware, and miners. It has a risk-free trial. Check out the description down below for the download link. So, here's how to eliminate Search Pulse with Clean My Mac X. Launch the app and head over to the Malware Removal tab. Hit Scan to let the tool check your Mac for malicious software. Once done, press Remove to eliminate all threats it found. Now your Mac will operate at peak performance again, as good as new. Let's move forward and see how manual removal works. First, remove malicious extensions and restore your browser settings. I'm going to start with Safari and then show you how to cope with Chrome and Firefox. To remove Search Pulse from Safari, launch it and choose Preferences from the Safari menu. From here, choose the Extensions tab. Locate any extensions that look out of place, especially those related to Search Pulse. Select it and press Uninstall. Done. Next, click the General tab and set your preferred home page. After all, go to the Search tab. On the drop-down menu, choose the search engine you want to use. My favorite one is Google. And what about you? Share in the comments. Okay, now open Chrome. Paste this line into the address bar and hit Enter. I put it in the description below for you to copy. Look for any suspicious extensions that shouldn't be there. If you find one, click Remove next to it. Once done, paste another line into the address bar. You can copy it from the description as well. Now go to On Startup and choose what you want to see as your start page. Once done, proceed to Firefox. With Firefox open, switch to About Add-ons. Select Extensions and search for a questionable one. Click the three-dot icon next to the extension you want to delete and select Remove. Finally, go to About Preferences. Finally, choose Search to select the search engine you want to use. The last step is to remove adware-related files from your system. Click the Go menu in the Finder and choose Go to Folder. Paste each of these locations into the box that appears, one by one. You can find the full list of the locations in the video description. Press Go after each location and look for the items with Search Pulse in their name. If you find any, drag them to the trash and empty it. Pay special attention to every file you delete as trashing system files by mistake can lead to a crash. Even if you prefer to cope with malware by yourself, it's still worth checking your computer with Clean My Mac X after that, just to make sure that nothing is left behind. I hope this video helped you remove the Search Pulse threat for good. 
Check out the description down below for links and extra details. Make sure you give the thumbs up to this video and subscribe to get the latest Mac tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and see ya.